Hello, my friends. Ivan here with my Facebook Live Challenge Day 5. And happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you had a, a blessed day. You know, it's funny. We actually went to the store today after taking our daughters to a little brunch. We got, got out there and it wasn't as bad as, as, uh, as I've seen it out there. It actually wasn't, it wasn't all that busy at the store, even though there was some, some clean shelves. And we just got done having dinner with uh, our good new friends, Nate and Bethany, and uh, going over some kind of ideas for, for what we're doing. And they're planning on moving and just, just different things. And it was kind of cool because this weekend, I was going through some old files, kind of cleaning my my file cabinet. You know, when people still used to used to do files and and uh, not, not go paperless for everything. And I like throwing stuff away. I'm not a, a hoarder. I don't I don't like collecting stuff. So I'm going through trying to try to figure out what I need and what I don't. And one neat thing is that I found something, some notes that I had taken in my first ever real estate. If, uh, investing seminar back in uh, 2011 and I probably yeah right around mid 2011 or so and I was going through and I was like you know what there's some there's some kind of cool things in here that takes you back man I wanted to share a few of those things with you this was this was back when I was uh, looking to get into the business of flipping houses I didn't know the first thing about real estate uh, I, I got this uh, actually it was my dad who got this postcard for an invitation to this this free half day event, and uh, we ended up going. Long story short, we ended up going to that, and then that led into, of course, you buying into the the three day, and then and then the bigger, badder three day, and etc. But it was kind of like a whole new world to me, like like it probably is to a lot of you guys or a lot of people that are, that are starting out, and it was like a, totally blowing my mind. Just. I, I resonate with it, I connect with it, but it wasn't mainstream, I didn't know anything, and somehow here I am, and uh, I've gotten this far, so I wanted to share these three three keys to success that I learned from this guy, the instructor was, uh, his name was Trevor, or something like that, but what he said was, one of them is, and you want to be, be careful that you do in this business, is to get the right information from the right people. And the way that I interpreted that, especially now, right? Because now you have a, a guru for everything. And sometimes that guru, now, like for example, Andy Frizzella, if you don't follow him, you should follow him. He's, he's, he's awesome. He's a creator of First Form, super successful business person. But he gets so angry because you got these like 21 year old life coaches out there. And he's just like, who, like you don't even live life. Like how are you a life coach? So, so that's the key. First key to success is get the right information from the right people. So look for people in whatever it is that you're doing. It doesn't have to be real estate investing or finance or, or whatever that, that I'm involved in, but whatever you're trying to do, look for somebody that's gone before you, that's ahead of you, where you want, where you want to go, that has proven track record of success, experience, failures, and comebacks from those things, and get your information from that person. The second thing is apply that new knowledge with adult supervision. And really what I took that to mean and what I still take it to mean now is as you grow and as you continue to step into that next level of who you are is continue to get mentored. You'll get mentorship from people again that, that, are, that have gone farther and uh, have gone before you and have made those mistakes and, and apply that new knowledge with, with a little bit of coaching. Like you're gonna go and you're gonna stumble, you're gonna do some things on your own of course, just like we all do. We gotta, we gotta make some of those mistakes on our own. But so many people have gone before you that have made those mistakes and will hopefully make your path uh, a little less painful along the way. And then the last thing is, was just simply repeat until satisfied, right? Because at every, every next level that we get to, there's going to be that next person because that, you know, at the be very beginning of our entrepreneurial journey, wherever we are, there's going to be a person that seems like he's so far away or they're so far away and we learn from them, we get to that level and oftentimes the student becomes the teacher, right? Oftentimes, if that mentor did their job right and really poured into you, you may very well go beyond them. I think as parents, one of our joys is to see our kids surpass us at some point, right? And, and what it is that they can accomplish and learning their contribution that they that they do. Um, and and so that's, that's the whole concept of repeating until satisfied, right? You get to that next level, Make sure you get that the right information from the right people at that next level because those people are going to change as as the levels go. 
and then apply that knowledge with supervision at that next level and then reapply. And it, it's just a great concept of life. It applies at the gym. I remember when I was first working and getting into shape, I had this idea of where I could go because my, my level of belief told me that I could get to this level. And then once I got there, I believed that I could get to the next level. And then I would see other people that were in just this extra level of, of fi physical fitness and health and all that kind of stuff. And then you believe you can get to that next level. So hopefully that, 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 that helped you guys. Um, I think it's, it's just cool. Now I see why my dad, God rest his soul. He, he was a little bit of a, of a hoarder. He kept stuff like, and we found newspaper clippings from like the thirties, okay. Or the forties and stuff like that. So he kept stuff, but he, he would go and clean and he would find these little things and then he would just get there stuck for hours trying to clean his office and then nothing would get done because he'd get, he'd get so just sucked into this bit of information or this newspaper thing or these notes or this, you know, book that he started that he didn't finish and whatever. And so, uh, I have a lot more that, uh, in a couple of two, three sheets of paper that I'll, that I'll share with you from, from these things. But I thought I'd share those with you today. And that was my Facebook live challenge day five. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a blessed week coming up be productive, be safe. Uh, I know a lot of you and a lot of us are, are having to rearrange our schedules with our kids' schools shutting down and, and some offices shutting down and different things. So it's a very interesting time that we live in. But remember, do not fear. You're created with a spirit of boldness. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you later.